Hello and welcome. We are Dave and Joan Maroney of Mother of Mercy Messengers. You have joined us for the Divine Mercy for America, Holy Hour Novena. From the 1st to the 9th of each month, go to divinemercyforamerica.org, click the membership tab, get connected, and we will send you uh, each day, the 1st to the 9th, the, uh, an email with the link to this Zoom meeting. Today, uh, before we go to prayer here in just a few minutes, we're, we're blessed and thankful to have uh, Daniel De Silva with us. I was sharing earlier that uh, we met many, many years ago, and little did we know that we continue, the Lord will continue to put each other uh, in, in paths working together. This month of February um, is the anniversary of when Jesus appeared to St. Faustina. He appeared on February 22nd, 1931, and asked that an image be painted the way that she saw him and also very importantly at the same time he mentioned that he also wanted a feast of mercy to be officially proclaimed by the church so daniel has done a beautiful documentary on the original painting of the divine mercy and also he's done a lot of research on father michael sapochko who uh, was her spiritual director so we're happy to have him with us today to share insights about the image and then also we've invited him back for a special um, session that we're going to have on February 15th, which is the anniversary of the death of Father Sapochko, to share with us a little bit more about Father Sapochko, and we'll be giving more information about that in the future. But Daniel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And we're just going to tell us what you want to about this, this special image or your experiences or your documentary, whatever. Thanks, Joan. I know there's a little bit of a delay. So uh, at least that's what I'm experiencing on my end, but I'm just gonna go for it. If you wanna, and everybody's frame for me is frozen. So if you want to interrupt me at any point, just talk over me, because th there'll be a delay when you start talking, I'll hear it a little later. So you, you look, we, we see you good. You, you know, you're not frozen and uh, we hear you. Okay, great. So I'll get right into it. Uh, Father Michael Sapochko is the really, the reason that um, we have, the devotion and the devotion is worldwide uh, of the divine mercy uh, of Jesus. Um, he all the, all the credit for spreading what we know of as the devotion to divine mercy fall, fell on his shoulders. As we know, um, Saint Faustina, and I won't tell much of the history because I just assume that most of us either know it or can get to know it. Uh, she died very shortly after uh, the painting was finished. This anniversary on the 22nd um, was the first and only time that Jesus, well, I shouldn't say that. It was the first time that Jesus appeared to St. Faustina. The, all the other apparitions until just before her death, I mean days before her death, all happened in Vilnius, Lithuania. Everyone thinks that it happened in Poland, and it's, it's okay to, uh, to believe that. It, it's, uh, it's for the most part how the devotion is discussed as a Polish uh, event, something that happened in Poland, and really that's because Saint Faustina, as well as Father Michael Sapochko, as well as the artist, were all Polish. Um, a lot of people will say uh, it, it, it all happened for the most part in Vilnius, Lithuania. Some people will say that Vilnius at the time was uh, a part of Poland, but in reality, it was annexed violently by Poland. It was taken over. I always compare when I do my talks at different schools and churches. I always say it'd be like if Texas came here to North Carolina and said, you know, Charlotte is now a part of Texas. You know, nobody in Charlotte would start waving the Texas flag and, and say howdy. Um, they would, uh, you know, as soon as they got us out of there, they would go right back to be in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they'd never speak, to, they'd never speak the word of Texas again. And that's kind of how it was in Vilnius, Lithuania. At the time, yes, Poland uh, claimed uh, Vilnius as its own, as did many other countries, by the way, because Vilnius was a beautiful city. Uh, but for hundreds of years, even thousands, it had been uh, Lithuania, Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. So that's where uh, St. Faustina was. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the painting that is a some obscure facts because otherwise, why are we doing this, right? We can get some of this information uh, from, uh, from the internet or from different speakers, uh, I think. But here is the painting that everybody knows, right? Obviously this is the original. Uh, this is a, a digital replica of the original masterpiece of Divine Mercy. The original is about seven feet tall. So this is a uh, miniature, as big as it is, it's a miniature. Um, and this is uh, the picture that we all know. I kind of have to do this so you can, get a, you can get a full scale view of it. This is a picture that was done about 10 years later uh, that St. Faustina, I mean, of course she never saw, she died 
38, so she never saw this, um, by a, an artist named Adolf Hiwa. Before I get to um, what Father Sapochko's response to this painting was, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you that in 1945, sorry, 1947, Father Sapochko escaped Vilnius back to his home in Bielostok, uh, Poland. He is, why we say escape? We, he escaped because they were after him. They were, they were killing and, and torturing and sending to Siberia any religious, any philosophers, any teachers, any, uh, any influential people, community leaders in Vilnius, if you will. They were, they were arresting them without reason, sending them to Siberia for years. Uh, there are people still today living in, in Vilnius, living in Lithuania, all over, who survived the Siberian camps because, strangely enough, they didn't kill these people very often. They often just made them work and suffer. Uh, usually when you were sent to Siberia, you were there to suffer, not to die. If they were going to kill you, they'd just kill you. But they sent you to Siberia to, as one uh, old priest who is now dead, God rest his soul, told us, they would make him move uh, rocks from one pile over to another pile and carry them with, with sticks and yokes. And, and one day they'd carry the rocks over to this pile. And the next day they'd move the rocks back to the other pile. There was no purpose. They were not building anything. There was no uh, final uh, construction. Not, there was no reason whatsoever. Just stripped down to their underwear and, and working and working. And, and as you know, of course, in the snow. Back to Vilnius. In Vilnius, um, the original Divine Mercy was hidden for a while. It was um, hidden, actually Father Michael Zapochko hid it for a while. Uh, when he finally hung it in St. Michael's Church, it was only there for a few years before the Soviets closed the church uh, and then sold all the art in the church, but they left the original masterpiece, St. Faustina's original masterpiece, hanging in St. Michael's Church um, for a while before, uh, before the masterpiece was sold. Uh, as Joan mentioned, uh, I've done a documentary on this. The, the only reason why I know anything that I'm saying is because we traveled around to eyewitnesses and, and people around Vilnius and Poland and Italy who, who knew the story. And we pieced it together for this documentary. It's called The Original Image of Divine Mercy, as you might assume, The Original Image of Divine Mercy. And uh, it's available anywhere for the full story. This part of the story is not in the documentary. We have 300 hours of footage that we put together for the document, we used an hour and a half. So in those 300 hours of footage, here's some information that we didn't get to, just there just wasn't enough time. I wish I could put all 300 hours because every single interview and person that we interviewed was super fascinating. While the painting was hung in St. Michael's Church, um, this was a church where Father Michael Soborchko was the pastor and was there for only a few years. Rumor was getting out around, around Lithuania uh, note that anybody from Poland, any of the sisters of, of uh, St. Faustina, um, uh, at this point, there was a wall. So nobody could come. This is after St. Faustina left. Nobody could come and see the painting. Nobody from Poland ever crossed into Lithuania to see. None of her sisters ever saw this pony, this, uh, this pony or her pony, for that matter, <laughs> saw the painting when it was hanging in St. Michael's. But priests and bishops in Lithuania in the territory would send artists to Vilnius to set up an easel in front of the original image and paint one, paint a copy, so they could take it back to their church. And I have some of the, a collection, I've got a vast collection, but there's some of the paintings that are found in the churches in, uh, around Lithuania. So these are the, these are the things that the, Vil that the Lithuanian artists noticed of the original image. Take a look at these incredible masterpieces. You can see on the, on the original, um, well, you really, maybe you can't see it, but the rays, we're very often used to these rays being cut off or, or ending, if you will, here around the knee, but they don't end. I don't know if you can see that. I've got, you know what, I've got another picture here, hang on. They actually don't end, you can see, even under his feet, the rays have continued. This is unfathomable mercy, which means you can't measure it. So you can't see the end of the rays. When you guys go, I, I see one of you, uh, Brother Lauren has the original masterpiece behind him there. It is that piece that he has there is based on a photograph 
taken by Mikhail Novinsky in Lithuania and then colorized. Uh, back in the day of, um, of uh, St. Faustino, they made little tiny copies uh, from that photo, little tiny, they called them uh, Seeds of Mercy. And it was a black and white, obviously. And so was the one hanging there, but it was, it's been, now it's colorized. It's a black and white. And the ladies would take lipstick and they would color on that little tiny Seed of Mercy. They would color the red ray with their, with their lipstick. Um, but so in photographs, in poor photography or in photographs of the original image, even as you see over my shoulder, it looks like, and from far away, it looks like the rays end here, but notice that they don't. They continue all the way off the page because you don't know where they end. This is unfathomable mercy and unfathomable mercy was represented artistically by you not being able to see the end of the rays. The reason I was looking around at your picture, Father Lauren, is because I always say in my presentations, when you go home tonight and you look at your images of divine mercy, and I know which one it is, it's this one, you're going to notice that we can see the end of the rays. This is a later uh, rendition by Hiwa, but the rays all, and there's a termination to the rays. Uh, but the rays don't stop because it's unfathomable mercy. And here, this artist who went to Vilnius to paint his copy because of the distance that the painting was hanging, couldn't see these very faint rays. So he stopped these rays. Still uh, this one here is um, hanging in uh, Cajadores. This is one from a church near the famous Hill of Crosses, Cholet. This is another painting. Notice that in this one, as opposed to in this one, and in the original, they look very alike, don't they? They're, they're quite different if you know them well, quite different. You'll notice that in this one here, the eyes are looking down. Jesus told St. Faustina, I'm looking for you from the cross. In the painting, because St. Faustina asked him about the gaze. He said, I'm looking for you from the cross. Yours, Brother Lauren, yours is a, a photograph. So the, the eyes are going to be looking down. In here, the artist took what we would call artistic liberty, and he made the eyes look, oh, some of these are creepy, I know, that there, yeah. some are creepier than others. Uh, but this is, a, this is the work of an artist, and I'll tell you what, he did a better job than I could ever do. The eyes are looking straight, but he does have the purple or the violet halo. He does have the yellow hue around the halo. He's captured a lot of this. He does have the fold quite accurately of the garment when St. Faustina directed the artist to paint Jesus lifting the garment. He has it there, and he has it actually uh, more, a little bit more pronounced than here, but even here you can see it. This is lifting up his garment for some reason. That's how Jesus wanted to be depicted when he told St. Faustina, paint according to the pattern that you see. And if you were to ask someone to paint your portrait, would you say, paint according to the pattern that you see? You would say, hey, paint me, dude, right? Artist, do a, do a, do a portrait, paint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pose, paint. You wouldn't say, paint according to the pattern that you see. He was being very specific. Notice that the cincture, the priestly cincture is here not the sash of the Hiwa. The Hiwa, notice your paintings when you go home and look at your paintings, you're gonna have a, a sash. It's a wide sash, it's actually high because Hiwa used as a model the Immaculate Conception. So it's high like a pregnant woman and it's a sash, not a cincture. Some of them, the, he painted about 200 versions of it, by the way. Some of the later ones, because uh, uh, Father Sopochka wrote him a letter, have the cincture. He finally converted into the cincture, but the early ones and most of them have the sash because it's from the statue of the Immaculate Conception. He wasn't a sacred artist, he was. Adolf, uh, sorry, uh, Eugenius Kazimierowski, in a sense, was a sacred artist. He was trained in Rome. He studied in Rome and Paris, but he was, uh, he was in Vilnius restoring sacred art that the Soviets had shot at and taken pop shots at. So he was there in town restoring art, and so he was very familiar with with uh, sacred art and didn't, didn't do much of sacred art after this. But anyway, this is a second one. You can see they have uh, Jesus I trust in you in Lithuanian and it's not, and it never was on the painting. It was never a scroll, mm -hmm. right? It was never like this or superimposed on the canvas of the painting. They never saw it that way. So nobody ever, nobody ever painted it that way. Here's another version from another artist. You could see the violet halo. The eyes are looking down even though they're wider and bigger, they're looking down. He doesn't have the fold in the garment. He has a heart. He got creative. But in the rays, look how the rays are beginning to be interpreted. 
they're starting to look flat. They're starting to look like, beer, beer, you know, like flat rays, like you could, like a light show kind of thing, when really they were, they were a cone of rays. Ray, uh, light doesn't happen in, in flat beams unless it's a high-tech light show. This light coming from the breast of Christ was going down and it was a mass of light. But you can see how he interpreted here. Notice that none of them are standing on anything. None of them are standing on any floor because Jesus was not on any floor whatsoever, unlike the Hewa, which is one of the things that Father Sapochko wrote to Hewa when he wrote to ask him to stop painting. Here's another one. This, this guy did not paint the bottom. Actually, this could be, and I've said this before, uh, this could be a, a, a really accurate representation of what St. Faustina saw. It also could be cut off at the bottom. I'm gonna show you how big this original painting is because I have a photo of a man holding it. But this could have, could have been cut off to fit into a frame. A lot of times in old Vilnius and old Russia, they would just cut the painting to fit into a frame they had. So that's this guy's re uh, rendition. You can see the eyes. Again, some are darker. Some, some of these paintings are dirty, so they look darker than they really are. His eyes are looking right at you. It took that artistic liberty. Again, it was hard to see uh, from at St. Michael's when you set up an easel. Here's Jesus looking down, just like in the original painting over here. He looks a lot younger. His hair is combed. He's got that fold. All of these, as you can tell, the hand, the blessing hand of Jesus is right at the shoulder. And maybe some of you already know this, but at the time, the Vatican was very strict. Look at the hand, look at the blessing hand. The Vatican was very strict about the liturgical gestures of the priest. And the priest, when blessing, was never allowed to raise his hand above, in Father Sapochko's writings, not a fingernail above the shoulder. Look at the original and look at the copies from the people who were able and had the freedom to go to Vilnius to make their own copies. Look where the hand is. It is precisely at the shoulder. Fascinating, right? Look at the one that we're all familiar with. This, in 1934, is not a priest. He's not wearing a priestly cincture. He's wearing a sash. His hand is above. Anybody who saw this would know that's not a priest. Anybody who saw this would know, huh, that's Jesus dressed as a priest because he is the priest, right? He's the priests of priests. All priests model him. Here's the last one before I show you a really cool photo. This is another picture from the outskirts of Lithuania. Now, whoops. Now I'm going to show you, that wasn't the photos, by the way, so don't worry. That was some sewing scissors. I'm learning to sew. <laughs> this is one guy. This is a brother there in, in Vilnius who is holding that one I said might have been cut off. I have this in my workshop as inspiration. I framed it and put it in my workshop. Yeah, when Father Sapochko, in just a couple more minutes, when Father Sapochko moved to Bielostok, Lithuania, uh, Bielostok, Poland, when he escaped, he saw the work of Adolf Hiwa. Let me hold it up again. This is the one we know from Krakow, right? He wrote to Adolf Hiwa and he said, now he, at this time, Hiwa had done about 200 paintings. He said, please, please stop painting the paintings. If you're trying to depict the image of divine mercy, According to the vision of St. Faustina, you've got to adhere to these, uh, to these um, details. And he gave Adolf Hiwa, you can read his letter, it's in the archives of Bielostok, Poland, Bielostok. You can read his letter in the archives, of course it's in Polish. Um, he gives him the details and uh, Adolf Hiwa wrote back and he said, you paint yours and I'll paint mine. And he continued painting the paintings that he was doing. So knowing that Adolf Hewa was not going to cooperate. Uh, Father Michael Sapochko in Bielostok, Poland, having escaped in 49 from Vilnius, never knowing if he was going to ever see the original masterpiece ever again, ever in his life, he said, we got to make another one. So he had a contest. They, they had a, uh, a commission, an artistic commission of priests and bishops, and they deemed this painting... Um, unworthy to be liturgical. It had liturgical errors, they said. And they said, we're gonna have a contest. And they invited four artists. One of them was Hiwa, the guy who painted that painting. He declined to be, to be part of it. He already had a good thing going. He was selling a lot of paintings and he was 
doing fine. And he said, you guys can play on your own. So he had three artists in the contest who were going to paint the vision of St. Faustina without saying it was the vision of St. Faustina, because at the time it had been forbidden. So Michael, Father Michael Sapochko described the art that he wanted, and the three guys submitted their artwork. And their winner was Father, uh, sorry, artist Professor Ludmer Schlesinski. Ludmer Schlesinski painted this picture for Father Michael Sapochko. Very different, but it was the best he could get. Notice there is a door behind Jesus. Do you guys, are you guys familiar with the concept of a door behind Jesus and the divine mercy? You know where it comes from? Father Sapochko, so that he wouldn't be accused or couldn't be accused of having a copy of St. Faustina's vision, which at the time had been forbidden, explained to the artist, this is a picture of Jesus appearing to the apostles in the upper room. Father Michael Sapochko invented that theory, and he made it a theory so as to not be this picture. This is a different picture, but it's so close, Father Michael Sapochko deemed, to the Divine Mercy picture, the original, that he remembered that he said, we're going to use this one. This one never took off. It's not as beautiful. It's not, Jesus is clearly not as handsome as he is here. People prefer this one for some reason, but for this one, so it never took off. This still exists in the uh, Cathedral of Bielostok, Poland. Bielostok, Poland is uh, there's a cathedral there, and the, the bishop there is the, uh, I forget the word, Joan and Dave, maybe you can help me. The, is it the prefect? The word just slipped my mind. For the cause of canonization for Father Michael Sapochko, the oh. postulator. The postulator. Yeah. So this work of art is hanging. Ludomir Schlesinski, uh, his family was, a, was a, a family of artists. They have their own museum in Bielostok, Poland. You can go and you can see some of his other sacred art. He has a beautiful uh, picture of John Paul the second, which he did purposefully to look like this. So you have John Paul II on one side of the cathedral and then facing, sorry, Divine Mercy on one side and then facing the Divine Mercy on another altar on the opposite side of the cathedral in Bielostok, Poland is John Paul II and they're looking at each other. Face to face, it's the coolest thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original, this is the origin of the door behind Jesus. It was meant to indicate the upper room where, as you know, Jesus came into the room without using the door. So the door is depicted as closed and locked. See the lock? And he didn't come in through a window. He came in supernaturally. And this is the moment that Jesus gives to the apostles the sacrament of mercy, reconciliation, where Jesus says, the sins you hold loosed on earth will be held loosed in heaven. And the sins you hold bound in heaven will be held, uh, in, on earth will be held bound in heaven. I'm trying to go too fast for my own good, but you get what I'm saying. This was the winner of that contest. Father Supochko died, never having seen the original masterpiece again, never knowing if it would ever be found. He died hopeful, however, that it would be returned and that it would, it would come back. And he died with great hope that, um, that the ban on divine mercy would be lifted, which it was right away. As soon as he died, they were like, and they lifted the band about a year, I think a year later on his, on his feet at the anniversary of his death, uh, if I'm not correct, or maybe it was his birthday, but one of those significant days, almost in, almost to say in honor of Father Michael Sobochko, uh, but he died during the band. And uh, he wrote in his memoirs, in his diary, that he died with great hope that devotion would take off. It would be that, that Jesus doesn't come to earth, uh, that what he starts will be finished. He doesn't come to earth for nothing, for some failed project, that this is exactly what he wanted. It was done perfectly. Uh, and it was done according to the wishes of, of, uh, of, uh, of Jesus himself. So it's, this is the success story of success stories that had been hidden for so long and now is come to take back its pride of place among those of us who are devoted to divine mercy. I'll yeah. end there. I don't know if we have time for questions or what, but you tell me. Well, okay, we need to go to the holy hour. And then um, we have some people that join us on a tight schedule. So we're good. Uh, we'll, we'll dive into the holy when we're guess what folks. We are going to go to that chapel in Lithuania that now hosts and displays for veneration, public veneration, this original painting of the Divine Mercy painted by Eugene Kesmorowski uh, under the direction of St. Faustina and Father Michael Sapochko, where they have perpetual adoration. It's just 13 minutes after midnight there 
and uh, you can go any time of day or night um, on this website. We'll put the link in the chat when we come back. Um, to, to adore the Lord, to gaze upon his image. It's kind of hard to see. I think they've got it uh, with protective glass in front of it. Is that right, Daniel? Yes. So um, without further ado, and then when we finish with the Holy Hour, we will come back for any questions um, with Daniel. And as I mentioned earlier, he will be joining us again on the 15th to share a little bit more information about Blessed Father Michael Sukochko on his feast day, February 15th. Fascinating. Thank you so much. Um, all right. So the first thing we will do is make an act of spiritual communion. And uh, we're doing this because St. Faustina was asked to make a novena of uh, reception of Holy Communion on behalf of her country. We are making this holy hour for our native lands. We know we have some Canadians joining us and we have some people from India that join us, people from all over the world. The Lord wants us to pray for our native lands. And told St. Faustina receive Holy Communion for nine days. And since of course we're all sitting here before a computer or an iPhone in, um, thank you honey. We're gonna do this uh, and make an act of spiritual communion which can be just as efficacious. And then Daniel will be going to the Holy Rosary and ask you to lead us today in the glorious mysteries and we have um our prayer team is going to will be responding to you so after spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Okay, we'll head back to Vilnius. Daniel, you'll do the opening, you know, the creed, the Our Father, the Hail Marys, and then announce the first mystery, pray, and, and any meditation or scripture verse, or keep it simple, whatever you want to do. And then you'll pray the first half of the prayers, and then we've got people lined up to, to be responding to you. So, the Holy Rosary. You have to unmute. You have to unmute, Daniel. Sorry, there, there we go. go. Is, it, uh, is it the Glorious Mysteries, guys? Yes, today's Sunday. Mm -hmm. Glorious Mysteries, am I, am I right? Yes, yes. yes. Today? Let us remember that we're in the presence of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sorry for the delay. I'll just keep going. Uh, I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is uh, the resurrection. Uh, your resurrection, Jesus, the conquering, and the victory over all of our ailments and everything that makes us suffer and everything that is against us in this time. Praise you, Lord Jesus, for your glorious resurrection. 
we want to see our resurrected body, not just our own face to face. Will I continue? Yes, you say the first part of the uh, Our Father and the Hail Marys and Got it. Okay, there's a long delay, so I'm sure what I'm going to say is going to come in much later. We haven't got with that, and I'll just time it out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I'm sure this is coming in later, but there's a long delay, and uh, it's probably a good 20 seconds. So I'm going to play all both parts of the Hail Mary, the second part, uh, I'm going to play a little soccer, and I'm going to hope that we're playing uh, Hail Mary for grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among them, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Daniel, Daniel, can you hear? Since Daniel, the, uh, your audio is is very low. I don't know if if uh, if the internet signal is low or what. Uh, maybe we should do different something different. It doesn't I think, seem to be working so well. Yeah, and there's such a delay. Let's just go ahead and have the prayer team. Uh, Helen, you do the whole decade, and then same thing with Mary, Diane, and we'll let Daniel off the hook because it's there's just something messed up with the audio. And um, and then Daniel, uh, you just you'll do the last decade of the chaplet, Daniel, which is you, you'll do the first half. You'll see, and then when we'll finish the holy hour, then we'll come back and uh, for questions, as we said. So we want to make this prayer time as less distraction as possible. So all right, everybody. Okay, go ahead, Helen. Pick up. All right. Uh, first glorious mystery: the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery of the rosary is the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven, body and soul. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. A great sign appeared in the sky. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. The fruit of the mystery, trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in need of, the, of thy mercy. Yeah. Holy. Go ahead, Lita. Oh. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn, turn then this the, then most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal salvation, grant we beseech you that meditating these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The prayer Thank to St. Joseph after the rosary. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. I love that prayer. And now we pray the litany of the saints. Again, for those of you that might be joining us for the first time, uh, we're going to be praying the Litany of the Saints. We're making this holy hour, first of all, because it's one of the things the Lord told St. Faustina to do. Come to me in adoration for nine days in a row. Another time, receive Holy Communion. Our Lord, Our Lady, and St. Barbara actually even told her that another time to receive Holy Communion for her country for nine days, and that's why we made the Spiritual Communion. And then... Um, at another time in the diary, in passage 59, she was told 
to recite the litany of the saints on behalf of her country for nine days to make this novena. And then after the, the litany, we will be praying the chaplet of mercy, which is another thing the Lord told her to do on behalf of her nation. Uh, we just prayed the Holy Rosary. It wasn't the specific novena that she was asked to make, but St. Faustina was very devoted to the rosary. And we all know we're supposed to be praying our rosary every day. And so we include the Holy Rosary. We get so much in this hour of time together and lifting up all the, the prayers and the intentions of, of all gathered here today. Um, Lord, you are a God of love and mercy, and we know that we hear all of our prayers and we place our trust in you. So the litany of the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for <clears> us. <throat> Excuse me. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint Philip. Pray for us. Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian, pray for us. Saints John and Paul, pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damian, pray for us. All you holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Jerome, Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Catherine, pray for us. Saint Claire, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth, pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. 
Lord, save your people by your coming. Lord, save your people by your birth. Lord, save your people by your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people by your cross and passion. Lord, save your people by your death and burial. Lord, save your people by your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people by your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people by the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people on the day of judgment. Judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of Holy Church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the Church all those who are straying. Bring all unbelievers to the light of the Gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation. Lord, hear our prayer. And the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heavenly hosts, all you angels and saints. And now... We will pray the powerful, the beautiful chaplet of mercy where we, we, by virtue of our baptism, share in the priesthood of Christ. And then we offer up to the Heavenly Father the sacrifice of his Son, this blood and water that's depicted coming forth from his heart in the image, in the image that he wanted painted, so that all of us can remember his Abundant mercy, his unfathomable, his unending mercy, as Daniel said, pouring out upon all of us. Jesus promised that when we pray this chaplet, he will grant us anything we wish, as long as it is within God's holy will. It is in his time and his way that he hears our prayers and he answers our prayers. And Lord, so we pray this with trust for all the intentions that are in all of our hearts right now. We pray this for our countries to be holy, to revere you, to be Christian nations. We pray for all the suffering for those who need conversions, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for allowing us to recite this prayer, to offer this prayer to the Heavenly Father. So, uh, Terry, we'll go ahead and let you start. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eileen, are you there? You need to unmute if you're there. There you are. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Christine, are you there? You need to unmute, sweetheart. Yeah, sorry about Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of historical passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of historical passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, Daniel, can you lead us in the last decade of the chaplet? Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. God. Holy, Holy mighty. God. Go ahead, Daniel. Holy immortal. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one. Holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal the optional closing prayer. Eternal, eternal God, God, in, in whom mercy is, is endless, and, and the, the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you. Praise the name of Jesus above all names. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us that we do not deserve. We sit and wonder about that, that you just love us with everything that you have. How, how crazy is that? We love you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pulling us out of our sinfulness. We throw our sinfulness on the bonfire of your love, dear Lord Jesus. Amen. Agnes Marie. Agnes, yes. You're on. Antum et sacramentum, Supplementum, 
All right. Thank you, Agnes Marie. Thank you, everybody, our prayer warriors, prayer partners. If you've joined us for this time to pray these novenas together, and especially want to thank uh, Daniel De Silva. Awesome, Daniel. Yeah, Gosh, what? I hereby declare you are the most knowledgeable person on <laughs> the painting, the image of the divine mercy. You bring so much. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I mean, is this, this needs to be in a book published or something, <laughs> you is, know? Since you, I, you're probably bringing this up on purpose, Dave, but I'm doing yeah. a book that's going to be released on, uh, on Divine Mercy Sunday. It's called Masterpiece of Mercy, and um, it's available at any of my websites. You can put that stuff. I'll let you guys put that stuff up there. There's also a, a Divine Mercy Summit coming up, which is going to happen between Good Friday and Divine Mercy. Actually, Easter Saturday, so we won't really do it on Divine Mercy Sunday. There will be the Mass and stuff uh, that uh, part of it, but it's a uh, it's really going from uh, Good Friday to Easter Saturday. It's the Novena, right? So it's the summit. And uh, last time we had a summit, we had forty five thousand people there, and we had um, you know eight hours of video every day for three days, and it was too much. So this time we're having much less video, but over the course of nine days. And uh, I won't go on and on. I could. It's a very exciting thing. Hopefully, Dave and Joan will be part of it. So we'll see about that. <laughs> What's that website? I'll pull it I up. I have it. I already put it. Oh. Original Divine Mercy. Uh, Divine Mercy. Oh, okay. You can go to either one of those. OriginalDivineMercy.com or you can go to DivineMercySummit.com. And we're still building some stuff on the summit part, uh, but it'll all be there. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. DivineMercySummit.com. That's, yeah. that's great, Daniel. Um, We've been talking about this year, the Mercy Sunday really putting a big, big push like never, ever before. And we're, we're wanting to get lots of different apostolates and the Marian Fathers, just, at, but at anybody that does anything. And so we'll talk more with you about that now to make that information available. What a great way, the final push, uh, going from Good Friday to Mercy Sunday for people to really get on board and, um, so that's very, very exciting for me. Everybody's been hearing it. That's what we're going to be launching um, on the 21st. As we mentioned earlier, the 22nd is the anniversary of the uh, the request for the image to be painted. But then also Jesus saying, hey, I want this feast day. And there's still, as you know very well, so many people, even though Pope St. John Paul II proclaimed this official feast day for the church in the year 2000 when St. Faustina was canonized, there's just so much misconceptions about where it came from, what it is, what it means, what the graces are, how to receive them, what you have to do, what you don't have to do. And it's time to just try to really clear the air like never before, because the main reason is because we need to take advantage of this time of mercy and uh, all the promises affiliated with everything that Jesus shared to St. Faustina and Father Michael Sapochko spent his life dedicated to sharing. And as we mentioned earlier too, Daniel will be back with us on February 15th. We'll be putting emails out about this to share more information on Blessed Father Michael Sapochko. It's the anniversary of his death, um, which coincidentally as heaven works is the anniversary of the death of St. Claude Colombier, who was the spiritual director for St. Margaret Mary Alaco who was given the devotion to the sacred heart. It's the same heart. It's Jesus's heart, just filled with love for us, but then pierced on the cross, pouring out his mercy. So Daniel, we're so excited to have you back to share more about that. So we're gonna open it up to questions, but before we do, Daniel, I know you came on a little late and you crammed so much. Thank you so much. Um, but is there anything you wanna add before we go to questions? Anything more? Not really. I, okay. I don't want to add anything to that. I, I can go on forever, to be honest with you. Sure. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. I think I'm happy to answer it. <laughs> we can listen to you forever about it, too. But... <laughs> and you know, this, this, you know where we're coming from. <laughs> the, this will be posted on YouTube, so people will be yeah. able to continue to learn and Great. get uh, yeah. info. info. It's just yes. awesome. All right, so then I'm going to open it up to our gallery um, members. Uh, just for a few questions, we'll... Anybody have anything specific? Yes. Okay, I, Eileen. Yes. Um, St. Michael's Church, you mentioned, it was Father Sapochko's church. 
was that the church where um, the two ladies had to bribe the guard with a bottle of vodka to get that <laughs> image and then take it home and roll it up and put it in the attic? You saw the documentary, which is yeah. <laughs> funny. Uh, the documentary came out on the 22nd of February just by accident. Uh, we could not, we did not time it and we didn't know that that was the feast day of the first apparition. And the documentary had its, uh, you know, world debut in Vilnius uh, to a sold out theater in Vilnius on the, on the 22nd, which is bizarre. Yes, as is in the documentary, uh, they would, the Russians would steal everything from the churches and then they would, uh, they would sell anything that was gold or brass or worth anything and then leave the rest. And they left the original painting and they would have an old, you know, somebody's brother-in-law sell off whatever they couldn't sell quickly. And he would give some of the money to the, to the Russian soldiers and he would keep some of the money for himself. And he was sitting in front of the church and a couple of old ladies were walking by and they saw the gate open. They looked inside and they said, they, you know, that's the, they recognized the painting. And they asked the guy how much for the painting. And he said, well, what do you got? And like a good Lithuanian woman, she pulled out a bottle of vodka from her purse. He says, how about this? And the guard said, sold. And he, and he let him take the picture down. They took it from the, from the frame and they rolled it up because they were afraid to uh, walk down the street with a picture of Jesus. Because like everyone else, they would have been taken to Siberia. And in fact, a couple of years later, they were found out. And both those ladies went to Siberia for years. And that painting stayed in one of their attics for about seven years. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Now, is this the same? 30, 30 pieces of silver. You know, I say the same yeah. thing. It's. Yeah. Was this the same church where people would go there to, to try to make another copy of it? Or was it in a different church? Exactly. This was so in that church in St. Michael's, it was hung on the altar. And then all the way across the church, as is in our churches, some of our older churches, there's the choir loft. And the uh, most of the artists would set up their easel in the choir loft, which was big, didn't have any pews or anything, a big flat open area, and they would set up, which is why some of the details of the original masterpiece are gone because they're so far away from it, but it was the best angle that they could get. So yes, they're a, they're a full church away from the original when they were painting it. I mean, it's seven feet tall, so it's, I mean, it's already a good size, but they're a full church away when they're painting this. Yes, St. Michael's is where those artists went, yeah. Okay, thank you. And the Shrine of Divine Mercy, now that we're uh, hanging, was set up by uh, the, the bishop, is that right? Uh, Cardinal Botchkis, who was the archbishop at the time, uh, uh, set up, it was called Holy Trinity Parish, and he just chose it because it was uh, central in what is called Old Vilnius. It's a beautiful, looks almost like a Disneyland version of a European town. It's gorgeous. And he chose that church, Holy Trinity Parish, as the sanctuary where they were going to have the original image of Divine Mercy uh, as, a, as its own parish, which is what Jesus asked for. And uh, uh, he uh, set it up and they went to go get the, the picture at the time was being hung in a Polish church literally about a half a block down. And uh, they had a day and a time where the priest and some altar boys were gonna process from Holy Trinity Parish over to the Polish church, Holy Spirit. It's still a nice, big, beautiful church, still there. Only Polish people go there because when Vilnius was annexed, this is a really interesting story. You're not gonna regret it. I'm taking the time to tell it. When, when Vilnius was annexed, uh, there were a lot of Polish speakers in Vilnius and a lot of those families are still there and they only speak Polish to this day. So at that Polish church in 2005, uh, Archbishop Bochkis, Cardinal Bochkis now, sent uh, a priest and some altar boys to get the painting, which is big, but it's light. And the Polish people at that church locked arms in front of the church, and they would not let them go in and get the, church, get the painting. So the altar boys and the priest, they processed back to Holy, to, uh, Holy Trinity Parish and said, we, got, we couldn't get it. They wouldn't give it to us. So... Uh, Cardinal Bochkis appointed a new parish priest at Holy Spirit Church, the Polish church, that he would then work with two years later. This is all in the archives. It's in newspapers in Vilnius. Two years later, they sent two priests in the middle of the night to steal the painting and bring the masterpiece, St. Faustina's masterpiece, to bring it to Holy Eternity Parish and hang it. And they had mass immediately. The cardinal was there. The bishops were there. And they had mass immediately and they, they christened the church now, the Sanctuary of Divine Mercy. 
And unbeknownst to them, Holy Trinity Parish, they found documents in the back of the church. This was the last parish that Father Sapochko worked in before he escaped from Vilnius. They had no idea. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? That's amazing. I'm right. I'm taking notes. So many amazing <laughs> stories. So many amazing stories. So many amazing stories. Yeah. Um, another amazing thing about uh, Vilnius is where um, in the early night, like right at the turn of the last century, 1900s, was where uh, Blessed George Metulitis was the, the bishop. <clears throat> he was both Lithuanian and Polish. And again, as Daniel said, you know, that for years, this city went back and forth. I kind of liken it being here in South Texas, uh, a border town where you have people speaking Spanish, people speaking English, you know, and and that's how it was with the Poles and Lithuanians. And there was a lot of racial tension, for lack of a better, ethnic, I mean, not racial, ethnic kind of tension. But the bishop was awesome because he could communicate with both sides, the Poles and the Lithuanians. He was the one who's the renovator of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. They were down to one priest, and he had been schooled by a Marian of the Immaculate Conception. And he was the one that rewrote the whole order, and it's and he's called the renovator of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. So the Marians, and, and it all being done in Vilnius, and then years later where the Divine Mercy image is painted, and Father Sapochko hands off the... Um, Divine Mercy devotion. He'd been trying to get it to pull, uh, to Rome. That's going to be in another story, but also to Father Yozhenbosky, which finally got to hear the United States, and we had some freedom to be able to spread it. So God's plan, definitely God's plan. I, I, I have another question, but before I ask it, I'm going to let the gallery. Um, anybody else? Speak up if you've got a question for Daniel. Nobody? Okay. So, um, Dan, I, I'm just going to say this. It's kind of obvious. What about when people have that Hila or Hila or hi, how do you say it? We always said Hila because it's H-Y-L-A, but the L in Polish is with the, uh, how did you say it? Hiwa. 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 Like a W. Hiwa. Yeah, yes. Or any other, because there are, uh, you know, hundreds and artists continue to paint images of the divine mercy. What do you have to say about that? I'm putting you on the spot. What's your question? Um, sometimes people get really worried I get after they hear about the original image and the iconography of it and how some of these other paintings don't really match it. They really kind of become scandalized or worried that they don't have the correct image or that they need to replace the image that they have. Um, how do you respond to that? So uh, this is not a disclaimer or a caveat in any way. This is my opinion. And I'm not saying that my opinion is in any way wrong or secondary to anyone else's opinion, but it is my opinion. So, uh, and I say that because any other answer you get to this will also be an opinion. So my opinion is, having studied this whole thing, is that this is the only version of St. Faustina's vision in the world. That's it. You can have other, uh, other pictures, uh, other renditions, you can have even one that Father Sapochko worked so hard on, but this is not that. There's only one. And when Father, when Jesus said, um, those who will venerate my mercy through this image, there was only one image at the time. It wasn't until 10 years later that there was another image. Uh, I'm going to say a few things and I'm going to, and I'm going to conclude with a, with a thesis. Um, there was only one image at the time. And when Jesus appeared to St. Faustina, he did not ask her for a, di for a diary. He asked her for a painting. And if we go to our diaries, I don't have mine next to me, but if you go to our diaries, the diary itself opens up with a, oh, it's almost a Shakespearean, a Shakespearean sonnet. It's a beautiful poetic verse about the image itself. The diary is about the, the image, the request for an image, the painting of the image, the struggle for the image, and then it's about her love in, a, in the apparitions, but the apparitions were about the image. Once she was, once she was writing the diary at the request of Father Sapochko, Jesus did say, uh, "Listen, while you're writing the diary, why don't you include this, or, or I want you to write this down, write this down." But the idea for the diary was Sapochko's. So Jesus left his throne in heaven, as he says in the diary to Saint Basilia, 
he left his throne in heaven to request a painting. And then when he requested the painting, he used the words paint according to the pattern that you see, which for me is extremely um, specific that he wants what's in this picture um, to be in the picture. And my opinion comes not just from research, but also from a prayerful book that I've written now about the image. What's in this one picture, in this one page, uh, is, is unfathomable in terms of its meaning, its richness, its what it depicts about priests, about artists, about people, about mercy, about giving and receiving mercy. It's all right here. Um, it takes, I mean, it takes the eyes to see it, but there it is. What I don't think is ever going to happen is for, for example, uh, the nuns in Krakow to go from having an original Hiwa to having a replica of the original masterpiece by St. Basil. I think we're stuck with one, one order of nuns is going to have this, and they're going to be happy with this. There's a very interesting story behind this painting as well. It wasn't lost. It wasn't purchased for a bottle of vodka, but why Hiwa painted it uh, is also fascinating and interesting. Uh, and where he got his idea of what it looked like, because he never saw the original either. That's all another story. Um, I don't think we're going to have people removing the stained glass windows that are that, that are in an imitation of this here. I don't think they're going to have churches, although some do, remove the Hiwa and put on the Kazimorowski. That's not going to happen in mass yet. But I think it's coming, because what's here is intentionally here. And what's here is, uh, I don't want to say it's accidental, but it's off of Hewa's memory, and it's a hodgepodge of different statues and, and paintings and, and things like that. What should we do? I think we should decide on our own, because who, there are, you know, you know, you know the thing about the, there's three approved images for veneration and divine mercy. Who, well, who approved the images? And that, that would be my first question. Who approved them? And that will have been an opinion, just an opinion. And it was done in the absence of this picture. But now we have, we found the original now. Here it is. In 2000, we, they came to terms with it. In 2005, they had it restored. And now it's in a sanctuary. And this is the only picture of the vision of St. Faustina. I always say any picture of Jesus is divine mercy. The sacred heart, it's divine mercy. The good shepherd, it's divine mercy. The creation of the world, if we can imagine that, is it's everything God ever did was divinely merciful. This is the vision of St. Faustina, and this is what Christ asked to be, to be painted. I think, it's, I think it's important. Actually, Father Michael Sopochko said, it's very important that we return to the original masterpiece of Divine Mercy. He said it himself. So I'm going to go with that. Amen. We've always, when, well we, when we came into, in, you know, and uh, under the auspices of the Marian Fathers, the, the, they, uh, uh, Father, Father Seraphim, Seraphim. Uh -huh. uh, you know, got us the Vilnius image, and we just always promoted that one. But they promote lots of them. So, yeah. The first words of the diary are. Yeah, the first words of the diary. They're beautiful. I mean, if you can pull them up, they're, they're beautiful. I'll say this while well, maybe you're doing that. The, um, the original image, gosh, you can see the dust on this, can't you? It's been <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> he doesn't mind. Hold on. Jesus, he might mind. I might be you can't dude. really see the dust. Yeah, sure, you can. No. Um, I want to say is uh, a lot of people have looked at this image. I'm surprised nobody's asking me about when Faustina said uh, that she didn't like it. But yeah. anyway, uh, <laughs> the, the, the copies of this masterpiece that we have that are uh, mass produced and copied, they're, they're not great. Uh, we happen to work under the auspices of the Archdiocese of Vilnius. And I'm not, sure I can, I'm not trying to take any business away from anybody or any, any kind of, but we have the high resolution replica. And the colors of the high resolution digital scan are phenomenal. And there's no, there's no, um, it's not as pretty as the, we call it this, the Hollywood Jesus. It's not as pretty as this guy. It's not as good looking. The it's not as, the, the Cardinal, Cardinal Bochkis calls this the Hollywood Jesus. So I'm not, I'm only using his words. Uh, the, the, the colors of this painting are just phenomenal. The woman who did the restoration said, every color of the ocean is in the background. People think it's a black background. There's so much in this painting. It's incredible. I also like, as, a, as an American, and we should all, for our country, you know, pray for our countries. These are the colors of our own flag, too. Sure, it's, it's Poland, right, the red and white, but this blue back here, 
uh, is in our flag. It, for me, it's a, it's a, there's also yellow. I mean, there's a lot of countries in this, in this picture, a lot of different colors. Anyway, I'll stop there. Like I said, I can go on forever. I gotta shut up. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. The very first words in the diary, notebook one, O oh, eternal love, you command your sacred image to be painted and reveal to us the inconceivable fount of mercy. You bless whoever approaches your rays, and a soul all black will turn into snow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, gosh, was another? Anybody else with any other questions? Um, excuse me. Thank you, Daniel. I just have a question on that image. Um, uh -huh. You know how there's the light light rays or here in the in the head um to be honest with you i've never liked that piece in that image and because i feel like it kind of depicts well i don't want to say it but more in a sense. i've heard yeah. i don't know who's speaking right now i can't see you but i've, I've heard it all i've got a response to this but let me fin let me yes finish thank your you. no no that's good that's it if okay. you can respond to that, I'd Here's love to hear mean. it. When you have a blurry image uh, and you have a bad photograph, this light right here and this light right here look like horns. Right. right. Um, and it's I'm 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 a quarter Mexican, and so I, I get to say this. <laughs> the Mexicans have a, a theory that there is an owl. The owl in Mexican folklore represents evil spirits. Anyway, they say there's an owl in the sleeve, and everybody looks at the sleeve and Oh yeah. Oh, I see it. Oh no, I don't can't see it. They look for the owl in the sleeve. Here's what's really fascinating about this masterpiece. First of all, that is a reflection of light. His head is round, and that is a reflection of light. He is the light of the world. John chapter one. Read it. He is the light. There is no other light in this picture. Only Jesus is light in this picture. I want to promote my book too. I have a whole chapter on on this area right here good to to make it short and sweet there is no other light in this picture jesus says i came to saint faustino he says they came into your darkness to bring the light of mercy well then where is the reflection this is a reflection of light if he is the light there should be no reflection of any light anywhere but there's some light above his head that is reflecting down and then reflecting to you. If you were to take, if you were to go in the dark and take a flashlight and put it over your head, you would have reflection of light like this because that's where it hits your head and comes, and comes to you. It hits here and comes to you. If you play pool, you understand this, that when you hit the ball here, and this is a big coscaron, this is a ball, the light comes this way. There is light above his head and who could that possibly be? The Father. Yes. God the Father. You have God, this is a picture of the Trinity. You have the Father, you have the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit. This is the Trinity. I want to specifically say that this is not. I want to, I want to go on record as saying this is not a picture of the Trinity. Not that there's anything wrong with this. Not that it's not beautiful. <laughs> this is a picture, the mystical crucifixion, the mystical picture of a crucifixion of Christ. I'm looking for you from the cross. This, this is what Father Sapochko said. He tried very hard to deny that this was a mystical picture of the crucifixion. He tried very hard to deny it. He wrote, I don't want to say it. At the end of his life, he finally said it. The mingling of the water and the wine, the water and the blood, happens at Mass. Where are we when we're at Mass? We're at the foot of the cross. We are at Calvary. This is the Mass, which is why Jesus disappeared after the consecration when St. Faustina was seeing Jesus at Mass over the altar, over the priest, she said. As soon as he said the words of consecration, Jesus disappeared because he was in the host. This is the intermingling of the water and the wine, which is what we need for life, right? The blood and the water. We need that together for life in the body, in the body of Christ. Somebody said it in our chat. Hello, body of Christ. The body of Christ, which is the church. This is the human side and this is the mystical side so you have the blessing that the priest makes 
And what's happening when the priest in persona Christi, when the priest blesses us at mass or any other time, when a holy Catholic priest blesses you, this is actually what's happening. This is the mystical revelation of this, a gushing forth of mercy. And without the actual cross upon which he died, of which this is a mystical depiction, without the actual cross, there is no sign of a cross or of the cross. There's no sign of any cross unless there's a cross. And here it is. So this is the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Priest, prophet, and royalty, king. It is all in this picture, all of it. Wow, that you, you just- That's amazing. Thank okay. you very much, Daniel. It is amazing. And, and again, I, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't bragging, but I can go on for days only about this picture. We're missing out. Mm -hmm. And so when you say, what do we do about these? You don't want to know what I really want to do about those. Go to this, run to this mm -hmm. image. This is where it's at. God, he did this on purpose. Hey, Daniel, and I uh, just as a witness to that, a testament to that, um, especially when we began, uh, we would go to visit clergy and talk about, you know, we're, what, what we do and we're coming to your parish. And I, we had several say, I just don't like that image. Like they were turned off to the whole devotion because of that Hila or Hiwa uh, image. And then we would show them the, the Vilnius that we had. And how many times did oh and this was 20 years ago they would so. go now that yeah I, it was like jesus came out and grabbed their hearts they would step you back. know oh. and because there was something about that one i don't know what it is you say it's beautiful i have my own personal opinion about it and then some of the other kind of weird ones we've seen like with a red heart in it and father i remember one time we were at a parish and, and the priest says well what do you think about our image somebody donated it? and i said father actually it's iconically incorrect there was no red heart painted you know and father goes oh, that's what i thought but I, I didn't want to say anything because three priests at that parish and each one of them felt that same thing, but they didn't want to say well, that's anything. a delicate situation. Yeah. If, if a parishioner donates something to the parish, the but priest is in a delicate this, situation. This is why this information is so important that, that you are getting out. Because yes. when you explain, it's not just a p pretty picture of Jesus. It's iconography. It every single thing about it mass, you know, it says something. And all sacred art, I do know this, Father said, it has to, if it's approved, quote, sacred art, it has to represent the kerygma, which is the life, the, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. And th this is also depicted, the Holy Trinity, but also, you know, the life, the passion, he's got the wounds in his heart, it's the resurrected Jesus. So there's a whole lot more to it, and we're just so uninformed and uneducated and so congratulate you on this much needed uh, work um, because the, of the confusion and the fighting in a parish and what, you know, we would just constantly say, well, we, there's lots of different images. We just historically like to use the original one. End of story. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a, you're right. It's a touchy subject. I, I'm, 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 I bet right now there are people on this call who are, um, I don't want to say offended, but, but it's almost hurtful that yeah. they would have been maybe misled or, 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 or they might even want to be attached to that other picture, which kind of is why I say it's okay to have that other picture. I don't like it. it. It doesn't even compare to this one. Eventually I think people will come around. I myself, I think I find this kind of funny, but I go to a church here right down the street from me. Can you see that picture of the, Oh Martin? yeah. It's the, it's, I call it the wrong one. I, for, for lack of a lot of verbose, ver, verbose explanation, I say it's the wrong one. I sit, right in front of that picture every mass i sit in the third row and as god would have it right i i i look at that picture all, all my all during mass like, <laughs> ah! humility know. humility humility and i've asked father father let me do a presentation there's no no he's now you're you're just a silva you sit there i've known you since you were a kid you know so you got nothing to do here anyway it's yeah. funny. get the book i would encourage everyone to get the book i would encourage everyone to spread the book because it's gonna not only is it about the original masterpiece but it is about all a lot of for some reason truth about what happened that just isn't known i think if it were known there would be no question that this yeah. is the one so yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, this is all, you know, this this is all new, uh, newly discovered. I mean, you know. In God's time. In God's time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, all right. We are uh, so blessed to have you. This Boy. will be, as Dave said, posted on our YouTube. Daniel will continue because, like you said, I know we could all talk hours and hours. Um, <laughs> check out the, uh, the documentary that he did. Um, check out the book. The book's coming out on the 22nd, did you say? Oh, no, Mercy Sunday. That's right. On Mercy, can people pre-order that or? Yeah, we haven't publicized it or anything. You guys are getting the inside scoop here, but we will soon. All right, awesome. And we'll be back on the 15th, right? With more yeah. interesting news right. on our beloved, blessed, blessed Father Michael Sapochka. Okay, quick question. Is the book on your website? David, I know, just moved it. Oh, I'm sorry. He's reading the chat. What's okay. the name of the book? The Masterpiece of Mercy. And here's some other exciting news. It's called, the book is called The Masterpiece of Mercy. I'm also, I've also written a musical, it's a play. So I'm, I'm a musician by trade, uh, called Masterpiece of Mercy, which is a play about the three. Sapochko, Eugenius Kazmierowski, and uh, St. Faustina in a room. The whole play takes part in the artist's studio and the bickering and the confusion and, the, and the, her explaining the image uh, to the artist all of which you really have to study this thing to get, but he, but Kazmierowski heard it all from the mouth of Saint Faustina. So it's the it's the interaction between these three, and then the having to do it in the in the dark because the Soviets were you know looking for Father Michael Sapochko, who was in the room as well. So they had to really do this kind of in secret. Uh, but it's a play about the whole thing. So all that to be to is to say that the book is called The Masterpiece of Mercy. Uh, in about three months, the play will come out, which is called Masterpiece of Mercy as well. The book is called Masterpiece of Mercy, but it's at originaldivinemercy.com. And and so it, this is the originaldivinemercy.com. And I put the link in the, in the chat. And so here's the pre-sale uh, for the book, Masterpiece of Mercy, right there on the... Dave, I don't want to keep you guys... If you scroll down some more, just keep scrolling down. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep scrolling down. Keep going, keep going. Sure thing. No problem. Right there. Okay, right there. Oh no, keep going, keep going, keep right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, go go to where there were like blog entries above, just above. Oh, okay. Going. There's a delay, so I'm gonna tell you to stop when it's late. Right there, right there. See the second story? Click on that second story. Yeah. Look at this, folks. This that right there is a photograph. Just stay right there. Uh, of what I was calling the seeds of mercy in my presentation. So if anybody goes to YouTube to watch this video later, well, they can go back and hear about the seeds of mercy. Those are about the size of your fingernail. So those are fingernail size um, copies. The red in the one on the left, that's lipstick that they would, they would color the black and white. That originally would look like the one on the right, which is one in better condition. It's the same exact copy, just better condition. This is what the Vilnitians would do to these little one inch pictures, they would put yarn at like a frame or decorate them. This, the hook on the top of the one, the green hook, that's made of yarn. They would pin that into the inside of their clothes as protection against the communists. And the one on the right is more elaborate, but that would also have been kept in someone's pocket. Uh, and this was, these, that's Michael Sapochko. These were the seeds of mercy that Father Sapochko disseminated 150,000 copies like this for the people to protect themselves against the communist soldiers. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, we've heard great stories about that too, and that's for another time as well. Yeah, when, when we, in 1999, when we became involved in the D Divine Mercy devotion, the, uh, the group that we uh, uh, came to at the, at the time, uh, Father Seraphim had given them a black and white uh, negative, I don't know, was it a negative or a photograph? A negative. Of uh, the, the original Divine Mercy image. And he told uh, this group, I want you to, to, to use this. And they went and had it colorized. And that's what's hanging uh, in Lauren's uh, apartment. And, and so, but for several years, I guess a couple of years, that's all that we had for the original Divine Mercy image was that colorized image. And we just would distribute those as we traveled and, and talked. And then our understanding is in 2001, uh, it, the original image was... Uh, professionally restored and we got the first uh, picture was not a high quality picture uh, of the divine mercy that's where our image comes from from a, a rather low quality 
picture of it that was uh, manipulated to to make it able to print. Right. So that's, that's actually that was actually a pretty high quality photograph, but the 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 picture is so large that you have to back away so far to actually get it into a camera lens that it loses resolution as you back up to like five something. Wonderful, wonderful work. Yes. We're so proud. Uh, we always love this image. Just the whole mercy message, of course. That's what we've been dedicated to, and, and Daniel's dedicated to also. And um, so, everybody, we hope you'll be able to join us again on the 15th to hear more from Daniel, uh, get his book, visit his websites, check out the documentary. The more we know about this, the, the deeper your appreciation and you'll be better off to, to share this, this information with other people too. It's important. Um, this image is important. The whole mercy message is important. So, all right. So with that, and we're gonna. Looking, and I was looking, cause I had a, I bought a thousand holy cards. And the one that I bought is, is like the one that he has there. Cause I can, Good. Yeah, that's good because there's some other ones that I call them the red, white, and blue ones. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, I bought them at, um, we had um, a Divine Mercy Conference uh -huh. in Sacramento, and it was at the Divine Mercy uh, Parish in Natomas. And they have their, in the back, behind the altar is the divine mercy right back there with the rays and everything awesome you obviously know about the original because there it is behind you it's that's one of the old photographs so you obviously know all about it brother good all right everybody okay, well, with yes, that we, we love you all we, again thank you daniel thank you so much and uh god bless your work we'll keep you in prayer We'll see you in just a few weeks. If you're watching on YouTube, divinemercyforamerica.org, and click the uh, membership tab, get connected. Join us tomorrow as we continue with this novena. On Monday, it will be the seventh day of our novena. We're going to Ireland. Well, actually, Ireland's coming to us. Catholic grandparents. I thought we were going to. We're going to go back. Catholic <laughs> Grandparents Association, a wonderful woman we met many years ago really helping families learn more about divine mercy especially grandparents any grandparents out there that want their grandkids to know about it <laughs> aren't we all nieces nephews children whatever so see you to go, see you see you all tomorrow have a blessed evening thank you daniel thank you so god bless much. you all god bless good night, everybody. everybody good night everybody